all about self-awareness. Figure out what you're really good at. Figure out what you really suck at. What you're really good at, go all in on that. And that's the key. Every single thing we have, everything that you needed to become the person you are today was in you when you were in middle school. It was in you when you were dealing drugs. It was in you in the strip club. It was always in you. Starting with something that you do not possess will always lead to frustration. Judging your purpose, judging your potential on the wrong purpose will always lead to frustration. But our gifts are God given. Possess without question. So that's where we start. And so at the, end, at the end of the day, we're talking about self-awareness. Correct. That's, that's it. But the, the important step is obviously first understanding who you are. Um, what, do, what are your thoughts on the best way a person can really figure out who they are? Well, if you start by you start by taking an assessment of some kind, and there okay. are so many great models of human behavior out there. Myers Briggs is one that's commonly used in the industry, Fortune Fives today. But if I'm a person that takes that disc assessment, I can clearly see, even in a, a little six-page concise version that, that we have, you can say, okay, here are my strengths, here are my weaknesses, here's where I'm good at, and it will show you potentially what careers suit me. I think the majority of people out there that are trying to figure out like what am I passionate about, trying to figure out what are my gifts, trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing, they give it like 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, and, they, and then they get frustrated after 30 minutes that they didn't figure it out and they move on to the next thing and, and they're in this constant state of I don't know what to do, but they're not really trying to do anything. And you spent that 30 days trying to figure it out and, and the cream rose to the top and, and it makes sense that you were so intensely focused and you figured it out when most people just aren't willing to put the work in to figure out what it is that they want to put the work in too. It's such as life, like you, you learn things by trial and error, you learn things by trying. The thing is, if you're chasing your gifts, you'll always win because your gifts are your gifts are your gifts. Like what are those things that you were born with? What are those God-given skills and abilities that you have? Um, you know, as you as you go throughout your, your normal day, what are those things that you can just get lost in? Um, that you can just you know look up and you're like, holy crap, it's been four hours. But other people they can't stand to do. What are those things that that you do very quickly that take other people forever to do? Like what are those natural skills and abilities that you have? So if you can focus on your gifts and not focus on the how do I get there, not focus on the what industry do I take these gifts into, just keep focusing on the gifts that were given to you then you will ultimately find that purpose and then will ultimately become passionate about that process and passion comes from doing what you were born to do um, so the times that i feel most passionate about what i'm doing is when i feel like i'm operating out of my gifts um, and i think that to me is a good starting point in this whole idea of um, chasing passion that to me it's about operating out of your gifts operating out of the things that god put in you that the things that you're supposed to be doing and you'll become passionate when you're when you're operating in those in those areas so that's to me you know you can lose passion you can gain passion but as long as you're operating out of your gifts you're typically going to become passionate about what comes from that if people spend the amount of time that they spend on worrying and complaining about the things that they're not good at, if they took that energy and used it on what they're good at, oh they would be a completely different scenario. Self-awareness, learning about yourself is great. Understanding yourself better is great. But it's meaningless if you don't do anything about it. You can learn, you can, you can learn all about yourself. Man I, man, I know me so well. But if I don't do anything about the things I figure out about myself, then I'm not going to get anywhere.